What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review. Today from Star Wars The Black Series, we are taking a look at the Gaming Greats Scout Trooper. This is of course from Jedi Fallen Order, the latest Gaming Greats figure to come out in the line. And of course, if you guys are familiar with that Scout Trooper body that we've seen throughout the years, you know pretty much exactly what you're going to get into with this figure it is an absolute banger. It does actually have some new accessories and also some nice additional sculpt work to it. So let's just jump right into it. First up, I'll show you a closer look at the box here. All right, and you can see off the stand here, you've got the Gaming Greats logo right there, the window package where you can actually see the figure itself. Of course, there's a nice image right there of the figure, the Jedi Fallen Order logo as well. A nice aqua colored side packaging here which looks great on the back here is the bio you can go ahead and pause it and read it now along with another larger image of the figure and i love the accented blue on the actual picture there that looks great on the side here you got scout troop on the bottom there's all the legalese and whatnot and of course nothing going on on the top of the box so let's go ahead we're going to crack this guy open we'll take a look at the accessories and then the figure itself Okay, first up, we get his tiny little Scout Trooper blaster here, which we've seen before with the other Scout Trooper releases. It's just some black plastic, but it looks very accurate to the movie. And of course, it fits right into his hand just fine there. You got the little division between the fingers so that it fits snugly and securely, and you don't have to worry about it falling out or anything like that. And then, of course, he does also have weapon storage for the pistol which again, it fits in there pretty tight. It is pretty secure as well here, as you can see. Although I know I've had them take a shelf dive a few times and it's popped out from excessive force, but it is snug in there. And then of course we get a brand new accessory here, the shock baton, which is featured in the game. You can see it has a little floaty effect piece here, but I actually do like this a little bit better than the purge trooper. This one is actually attached. So you don't have to worry about it falling off, uh, but it is a little bit difficult to get it to kind of sit in one spot. It either it wants to, you know, curl down all the way down here, or you can really get it to fit right up there. If you try, you just kind of got to push it up and it'll stay in place. And I'm pretty sure that's about where it is in the game. If my memory serves me correctly here, it more so sits up towards the top. But yeah, uh, other than that though, there are no new paint apps on the weapon itself, but it is nice to see that Hasbro, just like with the Purge Trooper, is branching out a little bit and giving us some new accessories because we have never seen this weapon in the Black Series before. So it looks awesome. As far as memory serves, it looks very accurate to how it is in the game. So that is awesome. Love that we're finally getting some new bits and pieces. And just like I said earlier, the scout trooper itself also has a couple new pieces and i will show you that as well so let's go ahead and take a look at the figure all right and here is the scout trooper out of the packaging looking absolutely amazing of course like i mentioned we've seen this body a million times in the past but this is one of the very few black series figures that i think has absolutely stood the test of time yes it absolutely could have some minor improvements but overall, the details, the articulation, the accuracy of this initial sculpt is easily one of the best, especially for the early Black Series figures. Now, of course, as you can see on the figure itself, there is a new sort of vest harness piece, which basically in the game is how the shock baton is powered. I'll show you the little details that are included with this figure on this new harness piece, which of course you can see them pretty well from a distance. But yeah, this figure just looks absolutely awesome. And this is the first time in the Black Series we've gotten a completely clean Scout Trooper with no weathering or anything like that on the figure itself. So let's not waste any more time. We're gonna go ahead, we'll take this guy off the stand and get a closer look. All right, and here we are up close and personal with the Scout Trooper. And you can see these paint apps are absolutely wonderful. There's not a whole lot of paint on the figure, but what is there is very accurate and it is pretty damn clean. You can see he's got the three paint lines right there. 
the black visor looks awesome. It is a glossy paint, so you do get a little bit of reflection in it. Got some gray paint as well there on the sort of mouthpiece, which looks awesome. More black paint on the sides of the helmet. On the back, a little bit of gray there. Of course, I think this should be painted as well, probably black or gray, but there's not a whole lot of paint on this guy, but what is there is pretty nice. Uh, you can see that there is actually more paint here for the elbow pads, and that is actually painted uh, white. That is not white plastic. And there's a little bit of gray on there as well. And then from the front here, you can see this new harness that he is wearing which has some nice silver paint there that's really clean it's got like a little battery box here with this wire that runs all the way through to the back of the figure runs to the battery pack right here which also looks really nice and it is uh, glued on and then of course the battery pack it comes down the wire goes to this harness right here which just wraps right around the hand which be very careful with this. Uh, I didn't initially know this. I didn't realize this was connected the way it was. I actually have two uh, scouts and you can see, yeah, I broke it on my first one. So be very gentle when posing him at first. You just gotta be careful because this can snap. It is just a thin piece of plastic. But I mean, even with it being there, you can still get that full range of the double elbow. But still, just be very careful there because you don't wanna break anything. And then moving down, he's got some more silver here to represent some like buckles. And then mostly it's just black and white plastic down from there. And like I said, the boots are clean, which is the first time we have ever had a clean scout trooper. So realistically, if you wanted to, I know that some of the other scout troopers can be expensive. You could pick this guy up. He's still readily available. And you can just snip that harness off and then have yourself a regular scout trooper. Because other than the harness, it is the same exact figure. It's the same exact mold. So I think the details are excellent on this guy. The addition of the new harness is a very nice touch. Looks very accurate to the game. Now I'd love to get another one of these, but with the orange pauldron on it, like we see in the game as well. So now that we've taken a look at the details here, let's go ahead and see how he moves. All right, so for the head articulation, he can look up a very decent amount, very good range there. And he can also look down super far as well. Great range of head motion there. Of course, he can exorcist all the way around. He does have some side to side tilt there, so you get a little bit of attitude out of him. You can see here, even with that new harness piece, that the shoulders do still go all the way out there. That works really well. Of course, these top pieces are nice and soft, so they don't really get in the way of the articulation. Now, of course, you can't really swing this arm all the way around because of the wire that is attached there, but the other arm swings all the way around. Of course, like I showed you earlier, you get these wonderful double elbows that are just absolutely fantastic, and both of them can go all the way up, completely extend. That is just wonderful. Love the Scout Trooper figure. It's easily one of my favorites. Of course, you also get bicep swivel and the wrists can rotate around and they both are actually the vertical hinge. So not only is that hand a vertical hinge trigger finger, you get this other hand, which is the vertical hinge and also a trigger finger, which is great. I love when we can at least have one, but the Scout Trooper is so good, you get two. The leg can kick out about that far. He can't really kick back at all. Doesn't really want to go. He can do the splits about that far. You do also get a thigh swivel. The double knee works perfectly. And here's a rare thing you don't normally see on the Black Series. You get boot swivel. So both boots can swivel all the way around. You can exorcist his legs if you so choose. And then of course for the feet here, they go down pretty far. They go up really far as well. And of course, you get ankle pivot. As far as the crunch goes, now he doesn't really get a whole lot forward and he doesn't really get a whole lot back either. You can get some slight rotation out of it, but that is about it. But other than that, I think this figure honestly to this day still has some of the best articulation in the line. And this figure is from 2014, 2015, I believe. And it's crazy to see that still to this day, it holds up so well. Cause as we all know, a lot of those old Black Series figures do not, but the Scout Trooper still holding strong. So now that we've seen how the details are and his articulation, 
we're gonna go ahead and compare him to some other figures. First up, we've got the Gaming Greats Purge Trooper and also the Archive release of the Scout Trooper. And you can see what I'm talking about here. So just to give you a closer comparison of the two, of course, you can see the boots, definitely different in terms of the paint deco. And he is also missing these pouches right there. So I guess he is a little bit different. He is missing some sculpt work there, but I think you could still snip the vest off and it would still look pretty damn awesome if you missed out on the old one there. And I guess there is a little bit of paint variation as well in the helmets there, but still overall, these, the Scout Troopers always rise up in price, so this is a great way, if you're missing one, to just be able to have one for the collection. Then, of course, we have Cal Kestis and the Second Sister Inquisitor. Then we have the Bandai Clone Trooper Model Kit and the Movie Realization Shadow Trooper. Then, of course, the SH Figure Arts Tank Pilot and the Mafex First Order Storm Trooper. And then last but certainly not least, with the Diamond Select Boba Fett. So overall, I think it's safe to say we've got some more bangers on our hands here. This figure is absolutely wonderful. The articulation is great. The details are there. The brand new accessories and sculpted details included with this figure are always appreciated. I definitely think, like we talked about on Figure Out, the Gaming Greats line is easily the best subline of the Black Series, and it keeps getting better and better. And this figure is an absolutely shining example of that. So go out, find this figure, pick it up, pick up two if you'd like, because you always need more than one trooper, if you ask me. And of course, I'd love to know what you think of this figure in the comments down below. If you enjoyed my review, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. Of course, I'm Nate. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.